So you want to record Minecraft videos like the pros? Let me teach you. Also, before we get into this, I do stream on Twitch Wednesday and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Link in the description. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is go to the OBS website, obsproject.com, and click on your operating system. The download will automatically start. All right, the next thing you're going to do is open up OBS and Minecraft when they're both downloaded. And when you open up OBS, it should look something like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings down here on the right and make sure you have your audio devices set. So open settings, go to audio on the left, and then go to your desktop audio and your mic audio. You wanna pick the desktop audio of your headphones or if you have a mixer. So in my case, it's gonna be system and your microphone is going to be the mic you're gonna speak into when you're recording. So mine's gonna be the chat mic right here. Make sure you hit apply. And then when that happens, hit okay. And it should show up down here in the audio mixer. As you can see, the bar down here is going because I'm talking into the microphone right here. The desktop audio is going to stay silent until you open up a game. So the next thing you're going to do is head back in the settings, go to the video tab, and this is what we're going to set our resolution or what the video is going to look like. Basic resolution for a 1080p video is 1920 by 1080. And for the output, just do the same thing. And then down here a little bit, this is where you can set your FPS or the frames per second the video is going to capture. So a basic FPS would be 60. So just set it to 60 hit apply and you should be good before you close out of things head to the output tab the output mode should be simple when you first open but we're going to click down on the menu and go to advanced make sure you're in the recording tab this is where you're going to set your video settings or how it will look and where you're going to save the video so head over here to recording path put the file to where you want to save your video put the recording format it should be default to mp4 but save it to mkv so in case obs does crash you won't lose any footage the next one is your audio tracks if you want to record your microphone separate this is where you're going to do it so audio one would be like your desktop audio two is going to be your microphone it's recording it separate so two different tracks so when you're in the editing process it will be easier to adjust your mic level different from the game next is the encoder if you have an nvidia graphics card with the special encoding chip make sure to put it to NVENC or if you just want to use your CPU put it to x264 but I personally have an NVIDIA card so I use NVENC next we're going to go to the output make sure when you do this put it to 1920 by 1080 the same as your resolution for your base canvas so that will be the output of what your resolution video will be next down to the encoding settings we'll just leave these two alone up here but to the encoding settings we're just going to put it as CQP and a normal level depending on your graphics card because of course course is going to be encoding the video i used to have it like on 20 because i had an older card but since i have a newer card you can put it at a lower number lower equals a better quality video so if you put it at like 20 it won't it will look good but it won't look like pixel perfect going down keyframe interval can be set at zero for uh auto preset this is pretty much how fast you want your encoding to go so if it's lower on the list that means it's going to encode slower which means the picture will look a lot better because it's taking more time to pixel perfect out the image but i usually put it on like a, a p6 you might want to try p4 p5 depending on your hardware of course tuning i just have it on high quality quality uh multi-pass mode i just have it on quarter quality well quarter resolution profile i only have main and psycho visual tuning on gpu zero and max b frames two all right moving on you can close out of that the next thing we're going to set up is the multi-track audio so if you go down to your audio mixer down here hit on the little gear icon and over here on the right you're going to see tracks there's six of them so one two three four five six and the ones check marked are the going to be the ones on that certain track we set in the settings so let's say i unclick all these and just leave one click well check mark it's going to record the desktop audio in track one and if i uncheck it for my microphone on track one my mic won't show up on track one because it's the game audio Audio, but it will show up on track two so that later in the editing you can be like hey i want my mic lower than the game or higher than the game you can edit it right there while editing 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add scene. At the bottom on the left, you're going to see a plus arrow that can add scenes. Scenes are where you compile everything. So if you have one scene with many sources, that's where everything will be. So we're going to name this test record recording. Boom. And next with the sources to the right of it, if you hit the plus arrow, you will see a lot of things you can add. You can add audio input capture. So if you want to capture a certain audio source, display capture. So if you want to just uh, capture your monitor, game capture, that's what we're going to use today. So you can capture your game and video capture device for your webcam. So if you put up a game capture right here, name it, since we're recording Minecraft today, just name it Minecraft or whatever game you want to name it. Go to mode. We're going to capture a specific window. And then you'll see this option right here called window. Hit the down arrow and go to Minecraft because that's what you're going to be capturing. And if you see right here, it showed up. If you want it to be full screen, because you can see down here, this black little bar, right click on your source, go to transform and stretch to screen. So it will be a full screen recording. So you don't have to have a black bar anywhere. You can do that for any source. All right. Now say you want a webcam, go to video capture device, call it web cam it create new and you do the same thing as it was for a game capture hit the down arrow find your device this is my device and you'll see now me it will be maybe full screen so what you're going to do is you're going to click on it to select it and then you're going to see this little box at the bottom right are on all corners and you're just going to drag it to the top right here you can put it anywhere by clicking and dragging it but i usually like it in the top left so it looks like a normal video and the last thing you need to do before you do anything anything else is just start recording it's that's pretty much it that's how you record minecraft on obs it's such an easy simple task if you have any questions ask down below i will be gladly to answer them remember i do stream on twitch every wednesday and thursday at 7 p.m eastern come on down if you have any questions there i'll be gladly to answer them and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one have a good one